Hi. Bum. <laughs> okay, so. Hi. They go in my bathroom. I'll try to cover it as much as I can. So, this is part two of our grilled cheese saga. We're gonna see how this goes. When Bum was a kitten, he wasn't very good while I was cooking. Thank you. Thank you for the kiss. And so far, during my setup, he's not been very good with me. Setup. Okay, so, grilled cheese exhibition. So, as I said in that part, um, I've never, well, like, I've had grilled cheese. I don't like grilled cheese because it's always made with the plastic gross grilled cheese. So, I'm gonna make a grilled cheese. I know. Exciting. I got some fresh, fresh, French, French bread, French bread, and Colby Jack. Because I asked my dad, I was like, what cheese should I use? Because I don't want American cheese. And he was just like, I think he actually Googled it. Colby Jack. Ig ignore the, like, fountain for my cat to drink. He's going to jump back up in a second. I can see it. So, let's get, I also have butter. Let's get to work, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I do like a food delivery thing so I haven't had to cook since like November so see how it goes and usually when I cook I play music and I dance around um, I guess I need to heat this up please do not step on this he one before I got my food delivery when he was a kitten like I guess he's still a kitten he's not one yet when he was a baby kitten he uh like everything was off it was just cooling down, it was still like red, and mom walked over it, and he has a scar on his paw. We're gonna cut some bread. I am hilariously lactose and gluten intolerant, so I think this is a good choice for me. I guess we'll just like, these are not straight, cut it here, and then I'll just ignore this piece. Yep, look, bread. <laughs> okay. Um, no, you don't get the knife. Okay, so I need two. And I didn't just, like, if I'm going to buy bread that, like, that doesn't go in my diet and that's not part of my food plan, I was going to buy some good bread. Okay. So, here are my two slices of bread. I know, this is so exciting. Yay! Yeah, you're not really going to see me much. I really want you guys to focus on the food. So I hope you can actually see the food I'll bring you guys down a little bit okay and my hands look at my hands okay so I know people say and they claim by using mayonnaise to like yes thanks for the kisses to butter their bread however I don't like mayonnaise so I wasn't gonna get like a whole thing of mayonnaise just to smear over some bread. So, also my bread is cold. It's not gonna do very well at smearing. Where do I, mom? Careful, hot. I feel like I'm already failing. No, my mom. Mom, try it. No, 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 no. Warm. This is hot. This is hot. You're not allowed on the stove. I know. New concept. I haven't used the stove in a very long time. You're not allowed on it. So, really, I'm just making this grilled cheese for me, so I don't care that I just held the cat, and then... I'm now cooking, and this is not going well. Why is this not going well? Butter. Okay. So, this is not going great. Are you warm? Yeah. Ish. Okay. He's been known. Okay, so I think I've talked about this before. Can you stop playing with the with the bag? So like when he was an itty bitty an itty bitty mimi. I uh taught him to like stand on my shoulders because I thought it'd be really cute. Now he'll be on like a back. Can you stop playing with that? I'm trying to talk. Hear me. He'll like be on the other side of the counter and then just jump across to my shoulders and upper back and head. My parents think it's hilarious. Cat hair, sorry. This is 
is probably gross for some of you. Yeah, I know, and I'm scraping my non-stick. It's fine, everything's fine, guys. It's all gonna work out. Okay, so then I like put the, put this one down right there. Maybe this is not good bread. I just, it's like good, I like, I like French bread. I thought it'd be good bread. It's just falling apart though. It's fine. Okay. So then I want some more, I almost called this cheese. This is butter just if I'm using my hands. I'm just gonna place that there. I guess I need a spatula. Spatula. And, and now I sit here. I'm a very impatient cooker. He likes to be part of the action of cooking. When he has an itty bitty, I put him in a pouch. Like I have a, a cat sweatshirt, a little pouch that I could put him in. And he would just sit there and pop out and he would watch me cook. And one time I was making pasta and it was boiling. And so there was like steam coming out. Can you just go sleep? So steam coming out and he would like swat at the steam. This just, this cheese just always reminds me of those like fake charcuterie, charcuterie, charcuterie boards. I have like the cheese and the meat and the crackers. I'm legit eating with my mouth full. I'm so sorry. It's so not ladylike. Yeah. Hear me out. Hilariously, I can make a T-bone steak and it's really good. I'm a great baker. I make so many great pies. And like I make my own crust, cannot make a grilled cheese. Mm. Hey, this is when the magic happens. I don't know. Oh, my cheese broke in half. Okay, I guess it works still. I just gonna. How much? How much cheese do you put on a grilled cheese? I guess I'm also gonna just break it in half. Like, how much cheese is supposed to be on here? Is that enough cheese? Maybe I'll do another one. I don't feel like that's enough cheese. So I called my dad because I know like some cheeses melt better than other cheeses, like a hard cheese versus a soft cheese. And so I was like, "What cheese melts?" And he goes, "All cheeses melt." And I was like, "That's not what I what I needed to hear." He did help me in the end though. Especially since when I went food shopping, I tried to find Gruyere cheese because Gruyere is. I have like three, three top cheeses that I love, and Gruyere is like close to the top. I really like Gruyere. Couldn't find it. I was at Target. Target, get some Gruyere cheese. Couldn't find any Gruyere cheese. So I couldn't find any Gruyere cheese, so I called my dad and I was like, what's close to Gruyere cheese? And then he's like, listed off, I'm pretty sure he Googled it. Actually, I know he did because I heard him typing. He was like listing off all these like fancy cheeses. And I was like, dad, if Target doesn't have Gruyere cheese, they don't have this cheese that starts with a V. And then he was like, Gouda. And I was like, oh, I could get Gouda. Gouda is one of my top three cheeses. I love Gouda. I hope that's safe. Oh well. So yeah, so I love Gouda. And there's this movie, go in the comments below if you know what movie this is, where a guy asks a girl dressed just up like a guy. It's a long story. Um, and it's like, ask me what my favorite cheese is. And the guy's like, what's your favorite cheese? And she goes, my favorite's Gouda. And I just love Gouda. Not because of that, I just love Gouda. I also love Baby Swiss. Um, Fresh Mott's is really good. It's like an up there, it's not top three. So my top three are Gouda, Baby Swiss, and then there's this place in Illinois, and probably other places that sell it too, but I haven't found it. I thought they only have this cheese around St. Patty's Day, and it's like an Irish beard cheese, and it's so good. So good! So those are my top threes. But I love cheese, and I love bread. Sometimes my family gets fresh baked bread, and I just like hold it and sniff it. No, 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 no. Because I just love bread so much, I just sniff the bread. This is going to be a lot of put the cat down. 
The cheese is melting. I have a pre report. Oh, you almost missed that. Up. Oh, okay, yeah, you can go all the way up. He's up on the top cabinets. Yeah, you can get there and watch. That's fine. I just don't want you where the heat is. I don't want you to burn your paw again. He's so sad that he was limping on his little pony to check and it was burned. I think it was. I haven't checked in a bit. I tried to budget me so today. He's not a fan. Nope. <laughs> He's not a fan. He's a cat. Boom, boom. I'm sorry. Okay, I think I'm gonna turn down the heat because this sad a little, little crunchy. But that's okay. I think this grilled cheese, I don't have a plate. I think it's done. I'm gonna turn you off, move this over. Okay. Oh, I guess I didn't need to put it on the plate quite yet. I, I need to go right there. Yeah. See? I'm functioning in the kitchen. Do I need to look cool? Did we get a good cheese bowl? I probably cut right through it. We did get a cheese bowl, even though I cut through the Oh, that's, that's a good cheese bowl. I had a good cheese bowl there. Even though I technically cut through the cheese, that's fine. Okay, we can. Maybe I'll, how's, how's the other side look? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Voila! I've made grilled cheese. Okay. Now you're on this side of my kitchen. There's my coffee maker and my blender and some dishes. Oh, the bread is like sliding. Is this supposed to happen? I, I guess. Okay. Um, I'm gonna eat grilled cheese. <laughs> so again, I don't like grilled cheese. I love butter. Who doesn't love butter? I love bread and I love cheese. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't like grilled cheese. And my dad thinks that's really weird. So, toast. Here we go. Mmm, really cool. Mmm. That's pretty good. The uh, the French bread, so much better than just stupid white bread. Gross. And then like, the Colby cheese, much better than the plastic American cheese that comes in those single plastic things. Mm. Mm, good. Mm. Good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It does kind of taste like nothing. I don't know, like it's just bread and cheese. Like, yeah, it's good. I don't know. Like, it's good. I do like it. The butter cheese is good. I cooked it very nicely. The cheese is still off gooey. And like you kind of get a hint of like the Colby Jack. Yeah, the Colby Jack, I just have to check to make sure that's the cheese I use. I think the French bread's delicious, but it's like. I don't know. I have some good cheese pulls though. It still just kind of tastes like nothing. Like, I wouldn't go out of my way to make a grilled cheese, and I wouldn't go out of my way to buy a grilled cheese. So besides right now, I don't know if I'd ever eat grilled cheese. So, it is good, and I, I will eat this. I'll hopefully Rum won't. Well, when he eats things, when it's human food, he just like licks it to death. I think I've told this story about the steak. So, good. Let's see if we can level it up. So, I did find a recipe online. However, it's on my phone. And you know what? I'm recording on my phone. This cheese I'm done with. Let's get elevated. Bam. Maybe I'll do my test place. Okay, we have monster cheese. I can put this away. We have medium white cheddar cheese. And then we have my Gouda cheese. Gouda. It is a smoked Gouda, but I don't think there's any other, like Gouda doesn't come in any other flavors. It just comes in smoked. So. And this is the cheese that was supposed to be Gruyere. We could have been really good, but it's fine. We also have rosemary, because I plan to make a rosemary butter, and an onion, a sweet white onion. I don't know 
know what I'm gonna do with all these cheeses. I legitimately only own three knives, one bread knife, one chef's knife, and then like a little paring knife. So, if anyone wants to send me some more knives, that'd be great. Okay, I wanna turn this on low. And I think, again, I do not know the recipe. I kind of vaguely know what's supposed to be in it. And when I say kind of vaguely, I mean like super vaguely. But I wanna make like a rosemary and butter type thing. So I'm just putting in like a spat and butter. Some rosemary. Um, the I almost said the eggs. There's no eggs in this recipe. Uh -huh. The uh, onion almost like is also going to go in there. Your time is also supposed to be in this, but uh, I kind of just bought a house, so I only decided to buy one of the herbs that was supposed to be in here. So I went with rosemary because I wanted the rosemary butter instead of the thyme, even though I probably would use thyme more often. Also, it is 2.06 if you're wondering what that time is, little bitch. Sorry, there's rosemary and a clump. Uh, my knives are also excruciatingly dull, so we're not gonna comment on my cutting skills because we're just gonna blame my very dull knives and not that I'm really bad at cutting. Got it, everybody? I do know, never, don't cut like this, you get a red mark on it. Comment down below if you know what show that's from. Okay. Using the back of your knife so you don't dull your knife any more than it already is because it is excruciatingly dull. A knife sharpener would also be great, people watching, if you want to just buy me things. If you do, I can get a P.O. box and you can send it there. Just let me know. You're gonna send me stuff. Well, I guess most of you that, well, I guess not most of you anymore, since we kind of have a high grouping now. We have a, a good sized little fame that I'm excited about. I, mean, I also need more cutting boards. This one's a little, he's seen his days. We're gonna let that melt, because it's butter, and I am going to cut my onion. Okay, so it says like one medium-sized onion. Um, it's just me, so I'm not gonna cut that much of the onion. Only, only like that much of the onion. So now I have an onion that I don't know what to do with, because again, I don't make my food. I all gets delivered to me. I'll figure out what to do with it. It's not gonna go to waste, trust me. I love onions. So, okay, let's go. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Oh, this is not how I wanted you to, you to go. I'll just take off the top layer. There we go. Rum, hot. Was it just not hot? Are you like, where are you? No, I have an onion. I have an onion out. There's knives, there's rosemary. You're a cat. I don't know if you can eat rosemary. I'll have to Google that. Also, let's not comment on my cutting skills of this onion. Do we think I need more butter? I think I need more butter. Yeah? Yeah. been a while guys i gotta get back in the room of cooking i used to cook all the time not so much anymore okay those are not uniform and i'm totally okay with that this is not chopped it doesn't matter the
my bread slices. So I just took a bite of the gold, the cold. Oh my gosh, the gold grilled cheese. The cold grilled cheese. Yeah, it's not that great. I think it's the way that the butter and the cheese and the bread all mesh together. It's just like, it's really off-putting for me. Oh man, this smells delicious. I do have an apron. Um, I got it, for, uh, well, I guess I kind of stole it. Well, my parents gave it to me. It's from my little sister. She worked at a fast food place that um, sells tacos. And I have that apron now. I'm kind of just waiting until these are a nice translucent. I think we've kind of hit it. Like, I'm, I'm good with this. Okay, so the onions need to be removed, but the butter, like, needs to stay. So, slotted spoon. And I want a good portion of the rosemary to stay, too. So I got most of the onions out. There's still butter and rosemary in there, which I'm so happy about. I'm gonna turn this down. Gonna put our bread in. It's hard for you to, I think it's hard for you to see into this one, because I'm one over here for some reason. And two, it's in. It's like a, it's, it's got walls, unlike that one. And I could transfer it all over there, but all my butter and rosemary and onion juices are nice in here. So we're gonna just leave it here. Let me try on this. Yeah, I like it. I'm a big believer in clean as you cook because usually when I'm cooking with my family, we're cooking a lot and we need things multiple times. So like get it in the dishwasher, get it cleaned, put things away while you do it. Cause then afterwards you can just like eat your food and you don't have to worry about anything else. I'm done. No, I'm not done with the bread knife. We need to open up my three cheeses. Triple the cheese, triple the bun. That's not a saying. Monster cheese. I do love a good monster cheese. I do know that that's not how you say it. Don't worry. It's monster. But as a kid, I always like to call it monster cheese because it's a monster. And also at Target, they didn't have like just slices already of Gouda cheese. I had to go to the deli. It is hot. Don't do that, kids. Okay, so. There was also like proportions. I know the Munster has the least amount of cheese. But like, I don't know how I want to do this. So, artistic freedom, which you can do in cooking and not baking. Like, I guess you can have artistic freedom in baking with like how you make it, but you pretty much just have to follow a recipe or else it's crap. So, okay. I think that's good there. White cheddar will also do two slices and then the monster cheese will do one slice. Hmm. Cheddary. That did not break as even as the rest of the pieces. No, it did not. This is thick. This is a thick cheese. I decided to put another slice of Gouda on there because the cheddar was a thick cheese. It's a thick homeboy. Thick with like three C's. Do we think this is gonna melt? Probably not. It's fine. And then a monster. Mmm. Classic, classic monster cheese. I'll put two of those bad boys on there, and then the onions are supposed to go on there too. Maybe I'll wait for it to melt a little bit and then put the onions on. That sounds good. And while that cheese melts a little bit, I can... Mom is currently trying to eat a pen that I have put into the binding of a book. 
Put the onions and the rosemary. And onion. Someone, they're falling. The onions are falling. We did have some onions that jumped ship. Don't worry about it. I got them. There's a cat hair. Got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. kids that was hot okay we have some more onions that jump ship so i'm just gonna like flop okay it just like fell okay those onions just aren't gonna be on it so this is my first time cooking on camera if you can't tell that i'm just like a total spaz spaz but uh yeah, I don't even know if y'all can hear me or anything, so we're just gonna go with it. It's just cooking. I think we've got some burnage of our underneath bread. So I'm gonna attempt. Do not jump on me right now. Oh no, you're up there, okay. saved it it's fine it didn't flip it all came apart i did kind of burn that that crust but it's okay um there's no onions on it anymore but that's fine i'll turn it to low i'll turn it to like real low where's my spoon spoon you gotta i worked hard on these onions onions go I tried. My cheese is not really on there anymore. Isn't that so magical? <laughs> I think it's melting though. I think we're done. I, I attempted. Um, let's cut it. I'm afraid now, it's very hot. We're gonna let it cool for a bit. We do need to get these onions on a plate. Cause a homegirl can just eat onions. I just put them on the plate that had the other grilled cheese on it. <laughs> it didn't cut very well. The cat's up there. Look at the cat. Look at the cat. <laughs> oh, well, let's turn you to eating. Eating. So yeah, so the crust kind of burned a little bit. Cheese isn't fully melted. The onions all kind of fell out. Um, this might be because I didn't actually follow the recipe because it was on my phone and I couldn't remember. But it's good. I can taste all the cheeses. The smokiness from the Pinot really comes out. The rosemary really adds another level to this thing. It's it's really good. Onion. The onions still have nice crunch. They still have flavor to them. Um, I don't like grilled cheeses. The honest truth like i don't i i guess there's something about the like gooeyness of the cheese and then the bread that's just like soaked in butter and like mm. that one had onions in it and really i just really like onions the onion taste just really cuts through the the cheesy it's almost yeah the cheesiness and the, yeah, I, just don't, I don't like grilled cheeses. I was hoping since now that I'm older and I made my own, I'd like them. But yeah, now I, just, I just don't like them, so. Now I have a lot of cheese and bread. And two grilled cheeses. But I, 
to figure out what to do with. So, there's that. Okay. So I don't like grilled cheese, but there is an aspiration in The Sims about grilled cheese. I guess I can. I can't call anybody because I'm filming on you, so I can't call on you because you're on my phone. So I can't call my parents to talk to them about cheese, and I can't really go into space and eat a grilled cheese since I can't really get to space. Um, and I, I can't really talk to the Grimipo about grilled cheese because no one's dead. I, mean, I can't trap somebody in a room and wait for them to die of starvation. So. I ate some grilled cheeses. Some of them might have been excellent. I don't know. This is a, I do, I have to say this one tastes better than the other one because the rosemary and the onions really just like brought another dimension of flavor. It wasn't just like strictly cheese, but there was like rosemary and like the onions that just really developed it more and it was much better all around. And the different cheeses, like Kobayak is great, but that was just like, it was a cheese of this. Like that first bite, I really got a lot of the smokiness from the Gouda. The second bite, I really got a lot of that cheddar. Don't know what happened to the monster cheese. I should have added more apparently. Maybe I'd hit that in the third bite if I ever took a third bite. So, but if you liked this, I'm gonna try to do some more cooking things and things away from my computer. Um, if you have any suggestions of what you would like me to do, leave them down in the comments below. Plus all the other things I told you to leave down in the comments below. Yeah, mom. Hit that like button so I know that you liked this content and you want to see more of it. Uh, tell me if you like grilled cheese. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are going to be like, yes, I like grilled cheese, you're weird. I know, I never said I wasn't. So, uh, subscribe because I very, 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 very much appreciate it when you subscribe to me. It gives me a warm feeling and legit every time I get a new subscriber, I call my friends and I'm like, guys, 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 I have a new subscriber. It just makes me really happy. So please subscribe and hit that bell notification down below next to the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And I hope you have a very blessed day and very blessed rest of your week. And I am filming this on Palm Sunday, so happy Palm Sunday. Um, Easter will be coming up. And so I hope you just have a very blessed all around time. Bye.